Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm very excited to be sitting here in front of you guys today because I have been crazy busy. I've been doing a lot of vlogs and when I'm doing vlogs I use this same camera so I don't really have enough memory to do a vlog and then film during the day. So it's kind of either like between a vlog or filming. Um, but today I thought I would sit down and do a makeup video for you guys because I have been doing a lot of vlogs and not a lot of makeup videos. So, um, yeah, here I am and I'm going to, oh, okay. So I filmed this video and I put it up on YouTube and someone actually asked me to do a, um, a tutorial on the eye look I was wearing which is perfect because I actually used um, one of these new essence palettes that I wanted to do and get ready with me anyways. So then she asked for the, t for the tutorial and I was like well I'll just combine it and we'll do a get ready with me using the essence little palette thing the jigger. So I'm so excited to be here. I just I love my life. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah. But anyways. Yeah, so, um, also, exciting news, I thought I would just share, share this with you guys before I get started. I might be getting a Canon Rebel T3i soon and a MacBook Pro. Crazy, because the Canon Rebel T3i is going to be super discounted if I do get it, and then I actually might get a MacBook Pro for free from one of my friends who's a computer person. So pray, pray, pray that that works, because if I get those two, my videos will just, like, go way up. Like, oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. But anyways, I want to share that with you guys. But let's go ahead and get started with the actual makeup. Ooh, ooh. So I already washed my face, moisturized. Let's get started with the rest of it. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start off using our um, Essence Soft Touch Mousse Makeup in Matte Ivory. Um, I've been using some self tanner on my neck area um, just so that I can wear darker foundations to match my neck. So I've been loving this stuff. You guys know this was my favorite foundation during the summer. It has just the most amazing texture to it. It's just, it's, it's like nothing I've ever used before. So um, I have a review on that separately, by the way, if that's what you're looking for in your life. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Um, this foundation is actually super beginner proof, I guess you could say. It doesn't, you can't mess it up that easily. You basically just like put it on your skin and just kind of give it a little bit of a blend and it blends right in. So it's an amazing foundation and I love it. I love it so much. And then also since this foundation has a very like matte and very creamy finish, we're going to take a little bit on our finger and use that underneath our eyes as just a little bit to cover up dark circles. This actually also is pretty uh, peachy orangey toned, so it really works well to just cover up any dark circles. I'm not going to be using it a ton underneath my eyes just because um, it is just a little bit dark, but I'm just going to be using it just on the outer parts just to kind of cover up the dark circles. So you really don't need powder at all with this foundation because it dries just to like a super matte finish. But I like to just go ahead and use a little bit of powder just over the areas that I'm going to be putting other products so that it doesn't have, you know, any like sticky residue, which it usually doesn't. But I'm just going to put some on my cheek area um, where I'm going to be putting more products. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of just a, a little bit of powder all over just kind of just my T-zone area because I do have oily skin so I'd like to prolong the wear of this foundation. And lately I have been in love with this Essence Silky Touch Blush in the color Baby Doll. I just, oh, oh my gosh, everything we've used so far has been Essence. Can I get an Amen Hallelujah? A Walmart brush, and if you guys want to see a review on this, it's up on my channel, so go check it out. Okay, just do that, because that's what cool people do. And then I just begin to kind of like tap it down my face, and just tap it up and all around. It kind of just do your thing, you know what I mean, it's just how life is, um, and this blush is so pretty, it's, just, I think it would look good on any skin tone color, it's like your basic blush, like, guys, what did Auntie Jody tell you, the key to flawless makeup is rose water, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all over my face and let it sink into my skin, oh, yes, it's so refreshing and, like, so heavenly, um, yeah, so I just, like, let it sink into my skin and I go on with my life like normal because that's what you do. Guys, I got, um, I'll show you. While we're waiting for this to sink in, let's have a little heart to heart. I got a fisheye lens for my phone. Oops, hold on. Fisheye lens, do you see it? And it's, um, it comes, it was like three bucks off of Amazon. It comes with these little rings you attach on to your front camera and your back camera. And then this is magnetic to this, so you just like hook it on. And you can, like, pull it off and do it on the back one, too. And it looks really, really cool. Like, um, I'll, sh I'll see if I can show you guys. Let's see. Okay, so the fish eye is on. Wait, hold on. So the fish eye is on there. Do you see that? So look at, like, oh, I'm in there. I like, do my thing. And then you take it off. And it, it's, like, crazy how much of a zoom out you can get. So that's without the fish eye lens. And then this is with the fish eye lens. So you get, like, another, like, three inches on each side of your screen. And then look at, I'm going to take it off. 
like look how close it is it's crazy so it was like super inexpensive and it works really well and i'm super excited it's, it's gonna be so much fun for taking like selfies because you can get like so much more of your body in there and like everything so cool so i love that and let's just continue to wait on the rose water to do its thing and be miraculous because that's what it does Alright, so I have my e.l.f. eyelid primer on my eyes now. I'm just going to be blending it in just so that our makeup stays on all day. Um, our, what am I saying? Our eye makeup stays on all day. So I'm just doing this, doing my thing. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking a pencil brush and I'm going to be going into Venus from the Naked Basics palette. Um, if you have the Essence palette, you could just use the lighter shade there, but I really just love Venus. It's just such a pretty color. Um, so I'm going to use that one and I'm going to put this into my inner corner area. So just uh, on the inner part of your eyeball. And then what I like to do is I like to bring this color down um, like right across. Is that your tear duct area? Like right in here? Because um, if you put a little bit of like a light color right here, it'll help to brighten your eyes and make you look more awake. And I love the look that this gives. So I'm just going to do that. And just um, you can put this whole color across your lid if you want um, just to have something down as a base. But I like to just, you know. I don't know, it differs. Every day is a different day to do what you love, so do it well. I'm just, that was beautiful. I'm full of poetic quotes today, isn't that just true? Okay, so I just went ahead and applied that down um, on top of my lid, and next we're going to be taking on this shade. Oh wait, crap, I don't remember which color I used. This is, this is honestly my life, I don't remember what color. I don't remember if it was this one or this one. Ah, uh, let me look, hold on. How on, let me find the video and watch it. I think it was a peachy color. Okay. Ah, I don't know. Let's do, okay, we're going to do one eye of each. This is, um, this is my life. <laughs> okay, we're going to take, ah, I don't know which color I use. Okay, let's use this one. We're going to use this one because this is a really pretty shade. I went to a sleepover and I used, I did everyone's makeup at the sleepover. And, like, I used the same color on everyone and it looked so pretty because it was, like, it just looked different on every single eye color. Yeah, it was this one. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and just pat this. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, I'd recommend using your finger for these shadows. I'm going to be doing a separate review on them, but I feel like they work best when you use your finger. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all. And this is such a pretty shade. And then we're going to be grabbing, uh, actually, a little. let's take a little break from the eyeshadow, even though we just started. Let's take a little break and just comb through our brows. Guys, my brows are crazy. I don't know what else to do with them. I, I don't want to get them waxed because... I don't want them that thin. They always make them super thin when I get them waxed. But then I don't want them... I mean, I don't know. I, think they, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. Okay. Because you just gotta go with what you feel in your heart and soul, right? A little pencil brush and Venus again. And we're just gonna be taking a little bit more of the light shade and just kind of reapplying it just in case it got a little bit, you know, washed off or something like that. And just kind of mix those two colors together where they meet so that's a really pretty gradient of, like, light to peach shades. So that is what we got here. Um, I know that I did a lot of eyeliner, so let's go ahead and move on to the eyeliner part. Alright guys, I take it back. I actually think it was that peach shade. So um, if you already have done this step, just go ahead and... I'm such a bad makeup person. Look at me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, but just go back and take that um, lighter peach shade that's on the bottom row and just apply that over top of this one. Um, these colors are really, really pretty and they just blend really nicely together so it doesn't really matter if you mess up. Anyways, sorry about that. I am a bad makeup person. I should probably just edit this all out and just pretend that I knew what I was doing, but honestly I didn't, so let's just be real, right? Alrighty, so next is eyeliner. I'm going to be using my Essence Gel Eyeliner Waterproof and I lost my black one. What is up with me losing my black eyeliners? I've lost like three of them in the last like month. It's... I'm pretty sure there's like an eyeliner thief out there and he just steals everyone's eyeliner because I don't have any other explanation. Don't talk to me. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> let's use our eyeliner and do what we said we were going to do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on my top waterline and for you guys who are scared to do this, I promise you it's not as bad as it looks. What I like to do is just kind of like um, put the eyeliner pen right here and close my eye so the eyeliner pen is actually like on your top waterline. And just close your eye and run it back and forth. I find that's a lot easier. My eyes don't water as much. Um, so just kind of like stick it in your eye basically. And then just like close your eye and go back and forth. Oh no! Crap. My life is over. <laughs> it's okay. We'll fix that. Um, so just close your eye. Do the whole little eyeliner in the eye thing that you do these days. Uh, oh, and this one is in the shade. It's like a blue. It's called... Uh, what are you called? Come on, what's your name? 
Does it not have a name? Oh no, I don't think it has a name. It's just the the blue one. The dark maroon one, but it kind of looks black when you put enough of it on. And then we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing on our lower waterline. Alright, next is everybody's favorite part in the makeup world. It is liquid eyeliner time. Guys, do not be scared of liquid liner. It's not scary. It's, okay, I, I, when I first got this, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was like, ugh. But honestly, it's just practice, and once you get it down, it's so easy, and I can do, like, a wing in, like, two seconds. So, like, get on my level. I'm just kidding. Don't, I'm, I'm just kidding. I can't. Okay, so, liquid liner. I'm going to do just the basic basics of the basic. We're just going to close our eye and just drag the eyeliner just at the base of our um, lashes. And this is harder on your left and your right eye depending on which eye you're using or which eye you're on. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to look down and then just drag it right there and then just look down and can, what was I just saying? And then just match it up. And it's really important that you don't look all the way up or sneeze when you're doing this because then your eyeliner will go everywhere. Um, this e.l.f. eyeliner dries super quickly and it's so nice and precise. It's just it's just the best liner I've ever used in my life. Okay, so on, on this side it's a little bit different. Um, I just drag it. And it's just, it's different on each eye. This one's a little harder for me to do. And then I just go ahead and just connect it in the inner. When you're doing the inner corner of your eye, it's really important you don't lay the whole brush down. You just use the tip. Because if you lay the whole brush down, you get this really thick part right there. You guys can kind of see it maybe. I got like a thicker part right there. So it's really important that you don't do that. It's a no-no in the makeup world. So then for the wing, um, I don't even know. I usually just kind of take it off and then just like connect it. It's, it's I don't know. It's just different. And this eye always turns out way, way different. So I'll just kind of like try to do the same thing. But this one's always more up. So then I'll just like connect it. It's not perfect in any way, shape, or form. Like this is not matching the other one. Do you see what I mean? Like this one's going up, this one's kind of going out. But I don't know, I feel like it's it's all about trying out new things in life. So my bad, I totally thought the camera was rolling, but it wasn't. Um, I just curled my eyelashes and applied my Maybelline the Falsies mascara. And this is the finished eye look. So um, if you... <coughs> If you want it to make it look a little bit darker and more dramatic, you could take, like, a pencil brush and just a darker shade and just kind of rub it underneath. Actually, let's just do it. Let's just do it for the fun of it. Okay. I'm going to take Crave from the Naked Basics palette, which is the darkest black, which is insanely pigmented. I know that because it fell, it broke a little bit, and rubbed off on my rug and stained my rug. It's, it's insane. So be careful with this. <laughs> I'm going to take a pencil brush, and we're going to look up, or look, I don't even know. Just, just watch. This is how we do it. <laughs> Oh, that turned out really good. I wasn't expecting it to turn out that good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there we go. We just took some of that shadow and just rubbed it underneath our eyes. And that's going to help to just smoke it up. I'm going to take this little other brush and just kind of wipe off any black or different shadows. And actually, I wonder... I wonder. I wonder if this lens would fit over my camera. I mean, it wouldn't fit, but let's just try it. Oh, it kind of does. Not really, though. I don't want to scratch it. It kind of works. Hello. Oh, it works. These lenses are amazing. Hello. My name is Jotty. Welcome to my channel. Fish eye. Oh, oh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. No. No. <laughs> So for lips, we're going to be using one of my favorite lip products, but the most disgusting tasting lip product in the world. It is the Maybelline Color Elixir in the shade Caramel Infused. I love this. So pretty. You don't even know. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. Okay, here we go. So, just going to do my thing. So, this is the complete look. I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes one more time just so they can get that little head start in life that everybody needs. So, this is my completed makeup look. Get ready with me tutorial using the new... Da, da, da. Wait, I'm gonna, I want to go over here and do this. The new um, Essence palette. I'm going to be doing a review on this separately because I have some good and bad things to say about it, but I want to get this video up for the person who requested the 
get ready with me of the look that I was wearing in that in the last video I did. Also, that video is actually private right now because I had I was like desperate to upload something because my computer wasn't working. So I just uploaded the raw video file. I actually didn't have time to edit it and I really needed to edit it because I had like those awkward pauses in it. It's on private right now. I'm just I'm gonna actually edit it and then upload it again. Um but she did request on that video for this eye look. So um, I wasn't wearing this lip look, this lip also in that video but I just added it because you gotta add stuff in life to make it worth living. Okay, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye!